Hey, happy hump day. I thought I had turned the darn radio down, the darn radio highs all that door. Anyway, happy hump day, happy hump. Oh, it's hot out here today, y'all. It is hot, hot, hot. Now, the weather's supposed to be getting a little cooler. Uh, they say, that's what they say. Man, what you gonna do, mister? Back it on up then, back it on up. I, uh, a sister is to start on vacation. I done got off work, and it's vacation for me until next Wednesday. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, I hadn't decided. I'm trying to contemplate, because I've been a little, I don't know, every time Sam would take me a little road mini trip, I don't do it. So, I think I'm going to really do one, even if it's just for the day or Saturday or whatever, I'm going to do one. But I don't know where I want to go. I got one or two places I'm thinking about, but they're both in Alabama. I was going to drive to Houston, but then I thought better of it because I am going to Tampa in May. And I don't want to make two long drives back to back, you know. Because y'all, the older you get, your body just be just towed up from the flow up from that driving. Anyway, I'm going to run the school. The camera falling anyway. I'll get back with y'all. Okay, y'all. That's the only thing about Memphis. When it get hot, it's hot. The camera had fell. I had to fix y'all back up in the window. I'm at the light right now, but the light going to turn green. I'll be right back. So, I've gotten off, and I've decided that I'm going to do a little mini road trip. I've been kind of, I don't want to get myself into a funk where I don't drive by myself. So, I am going to do a little mini road trip one of the days. I'm going to do a turnaround, so I probably won't drive any more than three hours up there and three hours back. So, it'll be somewhere, like I said, in Alabama. Um, yeah, just to get away and get, you know, but it's only going to be like a day. And my gas tank is on like a quarter of a tank. So I'm going to fill my car up. So whatever morning, because when I do leave, I'm going to leave early in the morning, probably like 5 a.m., whatever day I decide to go. And um, I want to already have my car, you know, full. So when I get to have the wind beneath my wings, I'm like, today I'm going and I'm going to get on up and hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. I'm at the gas station first, y'all. Um, I always gotta be doing the most when I uh, come to the darn gas station. I don't even know. I should have went to a Coke gas station, but I got some more time this morning to um, get my points off. Especially since I'm talking about driving out of town somewhere. Yes, yes, use the test and use whatever I got. He said, Lift the knob. This is good. This is good. Anyway, y'all. So I stopped at the store by my job in Memphis, right? Get the thing going. Yeah. Ask me why this guy comes out the store with no shirt on, right? That's my last time going there. And I like the little sales clerk. He real nice. But I'm like, he felt a little bit too comfortable. And I looked, he had a, like a mini machine gun just in his hand. I'm like, why would you even take that in the store? Are you scared you're going to be getting shot at or something? And if so, I know I can't move fast enough. I can't outrun no bullets. So uh, I, say, I can't be coming in here. He got to be carrying on. Now, now I'm used to people being strapped. In Memphis, I really am, but I ain't never seen nobody. I'm like, what kind of what kind of situation you gonna be in? You need a little mini machine gun with you? No, no, dude, that ain't my thing. The little girl looked so funny when I was like frowned up. I'm like, uh, uh, how you doing, ma'am? Like, this is not it right here. This is not the move. So, but like I said, I'm feeling this going hard. So when I when I get up, whatever morning I get up. Then I want some fruit and stuff to take on the road with me and have like, you know, for snacks, I don't have no fruit. I got an apple left and I want something to kind of take, you know, so I can have super low right behind this particular gas station here. 
And uh, so I'm gonna go on the super low and pick up me like some watermelon and a few grapes or something. I could just kind of throw down in my little like lunch carry on in the car and have. Even though I stop, y'all, you know when you stop at these little stores, some of the like like little buckies and places like that have protein snacks and fruit, but a lot of these stores don't be having that stuff. You know, you be at the mercy of chips, cakes, and candy. And you know when you travel, you be like, well, y'all, guess what? Not to say I won't have some of that here and there, but I don't want that to be at the only thing in the mercy. You know, me be at the mercy. Thirty-seven dollars, Jesus. Jesus. These for two ninety-nine a gallon. How many gallons it hold? Twelve and a half. Ooh, that's a lot of spicy. One of my coworkers was telling me, "Yeah, I want me a receipt because you know I told you I trust y'all to be running my stuff correctly." Y'all hear all that? Let me take a look. I'm going to get a number. Let me take the receipt. Ain't no receipt to take. Oh, Lord, I do not want to go in the store. Well, Jesus, y'all, I don't know. Let me take a thing of it here. I know what it say just in case, because, you know, I be forgetting. So, just in case, they try to overcharge a sister, I can say, nope. I got you on camera. I know how much my gas was. Show this. Let me drive over here to the super low in the same parking lot. Oh, he coming out. Y'all, did I tell y'all it was hot here? I told y'all that. Well, it's my version of hot because it's 84 degrees here. And let me tell you, that's hot enough for me. Oh, man. They used to say, you know, but people be killing me. I was born in the summer months, my birthday in August, so I love the heat. Uh-uh. I was born in August. Guess what? The heat is not my friend. This is enough for me right here. This enough. This heat is enough for me. Because when it get hotter than this, a sister going to get out in the morning other than going to work. Uh, When I get out work, I'm going to take my hind parts in the house. I'm not going to be out in the morning when I walk. I will be going to Shelby Farms early in the morning or somewhere in my neighborhood early in the morning. And it still be hot then. It's so humid here. That's the problem. The humidity. I don't know. Well, then I don't know either if I could take the dry heat. Because I couldn't stand the heat when we was in Vegas, to be honest with you. He leaning over to the side like a pimp. Let me whip on in here. It's a parking space right here. I sure hope they got a cart in here. Y'all, let me get out here and go in the store. I'll talk back to y'all in a minute. Okay. Yeah. I done got in here and got on me a cart. You know I can't be doing all this walk. Y'all, let me tell y'all. My brother picked up a, some chicken one day. It's been about a month ago. You know, honey, I was just saying I came in here. This chicken smells so good. But like I said, he picked up some chicken here, right? And it was so old tasting. It was like the grease was old. And I'm like, so now, you know, once you get something old from somewhere, you don't be wanted anymore. So, it's a no for me on that. How you doing? I done whipped on right here. Get me some of this bread. Best by April 30th, it says. Oh, here you go. That look like the lady date on it, so. Let me get that little roll. Oh, they had clothes in here. They got little mini swimming pools in here, y'all, for the little kiddos. I guess the weather didn't hit that point, though. You know what? I really want me a green juice. I don't think them juice is six dollars and something, but I sure want one. Let me whip on around here and see if the lady got them up here this time. You know what? Oh, yes, she do. They six dollars fifty nine cent. Hold on one minute, y'all. I'm gonna turn y'all around. I have to get up to see about the juices. I know it probably will be cheaper to juice yourself, but I don't have no juice, so that's the first thing. Then you got to buy all this stuff. Some blue something. Blue moon. Now I see it just because she had the green one. She ain't no green one up here. I know I'm shy. It ain't 
ain't even no green one up here, y'all. And I like the green one. I like the spinach splash. They don't have no spinach splash. Well, all right then. Let me get my hand paws back on this cart because they don't have what I need anyway. Paul, they need to be spending no $7 on no doggone juice no ways, right? Right. Yeah. Let me whip on around here because this water don't probably going to be seven. But I'm on vacation. That's why I keep telling myself, girl, you on vacation. Go on, treat yourself, girl. Hurry. Go on, do it. Go on, make it do what it do. These grapes, they already got the grapes. Why the hell put the grapes in the bag? I don't want no whole thing of grapes because I ain't going to be able to eat them. They got these right here. And I'm going to bag it on the book. I ain't getting all these. They just too many. They be having too many grapes in here. Nobody be wanting all that. That's enough for me. It take me a minute to eat them. Somebody will, I've, I've had frozen grapes before. So. Now you can get a whole shell, they say, for $3.19. These are candy grapes, they say. Candy heart grapes. I don't know what the difference is, but that's what they say. And let's see about this watermelon here. This, this $5 and something here, right? Some pretty big chunks. But then a half a watermelon is $5. You know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get this quarter of watermelon, and it's only a it's two ninety nine. I'm gonna get the quarter one this time. How about that? How about that? How about I do that? You know what? I ain't had no banana. I said that the last time. I guess y'all said I'm sick of hearing about you and them darn bananas. You ain't had no banana in a minute. I have. I thought maybe they would have some plums up here, but they don't. So guess what? Keep on moving. Don't stop, keep on moving, don't stop, no. Mm. Y'all, have y'all seen the, uh, is it Fanta? It's one of them, I think it's Fanta Zero. I'm going to see if they got them in here. Has anybody had that? I need some more deadly turkey. Is there a turkey kind of high up in here? I would prefer some cut at the deli anyway. I might whoop on back around there and get some cut at the deli. I need some ground chicken because you know what? I'm going to make some, um, I'm going to make some, um, enchiladas. Some uh, enchilada casserole while I'm on, you know, with the low carb stuff. But I don't know if they got the ground chicken in here. I got a thing of ground beef, but I didn't know if I wanted to use ground beef. I was thinking about using ground chicken. Ooh, the steaks look real good. If you want a steak, I guess they look rather tasty. She's doing the backing up. Let me get out of her way. see no ground chicken so I guess they don't have any huh. oh well let me keep it on moving let me keep it on moving because uh, I really didn't come in here for that much stuff no way I'm going to whip on down here down the drink out and see if they got the Ooh, excuse me man. look I'm also a, a wreck how you doing today <laughs> uh, got the got the cart then it's up here They got the, but I don't want that many. They got those, I told you those Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, they got the strawberry and cream. But then what if you get them and you don't like them, then what? See, that doesn't make you not want to buy it. Man, I don't drink them like that no ways, but still. Let me get my hind paws up out here. I, you don't need those drinks. You do not need those drinks. See, y'all supposed to be helping me. Tell me I don't need the darn drinks, okay? All right, get out the store. Get out the store with the watermelon and the grapes. Take your tail part and out of here.
They got the mini sun kiss, but they don't have no mini sun kiss zero. All this old copyright music, I didn't even just realize when I heard the woman singing. Lord, let me get off this thing, y'all. I'll see y'all when I get up out this door. I'm finna go on and check it on out. Check it on out. Y'all, I'm up here at the lottery room machine to get me a Mississippi Powerball. Did I tell y'all when I was in Arkansas one time? I, um, I didn't realize I was just up there trying to put my money in thing and that would take my cash, right? So, I, uh, I'm going to play $8. So, yeah, I, uh, well, let's see. The man, I was over there just constantly trying to put me. The man finally came over to try to tell me how to do it. You got to scan your ID. You know, I don't know nothing about that. I know I'm going to buy mine if it's on register. So, and if I would have read the machine instead of just over here trying to do my own thing, you know, I wouldn't have had that problem. And you go and see you pick the Mississippi Powerball. I'm going to pick the $3 play. All right. So it came out. And how about I get a, how about I get a couple of scratch offs y'all? Well, let's get a $2 one. One ticket. Okay, I got $3 left, y'all. Let's get a ski ball. Let's get a ski ball, y'all. It's a three dollar ticket. I'm, I'm doing it, y'all. Oh, I guess I gotta pick it. You see how this combined letter I am? So I got my power ball, and I got two scratch offs. Let me put them down in my purse. Put my license up here in my, my other purse. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now I'm getting ready to go into the car and get up out of this darn, uh, get up out of this darn store. And whip it on out, whip it on out of here. I came in and look, guy was talking to me. He done moved. I guess he was in the store for him and cat came on out. Uh, he gone. There's somebody else parked up there now. Mister, don't you see the road war? You come and get your car out the way. Peter Gonzalez over here. <laughs> you better recognize. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. I'm real silly. Hey, y'all, if y'all ride one of these carts, like when you get back to your car, don't leave the cart on because uh, the guy was telling me, you know, well, I don't leave it on anyway, but you know, that way, you know, when they come get it, it'll be charged up, you know. The little guy, he told me which one to get on when I went in the store. But let me get out of here and get these bags in the car. And then I'm going to get my hind parts on home. And I'll talk to y'all when I get home for a minute. I ain't nowhere near home. I decided I'm going to have me something today. I'm going to have me some um, hot wings, I believe. So I came over here to Slim's Chickens. I'm going to whip on with Slim's Chickens. And order me something. And y'all, if anybody over here, and I don't know if this is South Haven or Olive Branch, I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know what I want, actually. I think I'll get the, because the wings are kind of expensive. Welcome to some chickens, my name's Madison. Can I get a name for the order? Donna? What can I get for you? Yes, may I please get the eight wing meal? Can I get half Korean barbecue and half um, honey barbecue? With uh, blue cheese, please. Dr. Pepper. What else, That's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you too. You know, I don't know if this is their model, but I've noticed that here they're kind of set up like Chick fil A almost, where they have the outside little, they don't have anybody outside right now. 
But then they even have a little cash stand outside, right? I don't know if everybody's going to that model. And I noticed since I've been eating here, I had never eaten at Slam Chickens until Amber had me come over here one time. And um, this will be enough to last me for a couple of days. So, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? And I noticed they always tell you have a blessed day when you, when you come here. They, they always greet you and they always tell you to have a blessed day. Is that like that at your, do y'all even have a Slim's Chicken? Is it like that? Anyway, I was finna tell y'all something else. I done thought I'd talk about something else, some darn chicken. Anyway, y'all, they got a little, a little, uh, look like a fair or the carnival or whatever over here, cause there's some rides set up here across kind of, um, oh, and it's going, the Ferris wheel going. Who out of school right now? Oh, I guess school out. Yeah, what time I think the kid gonna be in school all day long? I done got all work talking about what they doing off. Like I'm going over there. But then then look kids can go too, but it's at four o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm tickling myself. Anyway, it's right, I would say it's right across the street from um what is that name of that restaurant? That Mexican restaurant. Oh, we didn't eat there too. We ate there for Christmas. If y'all watch, you know, my girlfriend was here. We went there then. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, um, they are right across the street from the Mexican restaurant, right next door to the fire station. You know, it's kind of corner, kind of from Slim's Chickens. You can see it if you're at the Slim Chicken parking lot, Central Barbecue, then you can see it. It's right down there, right across from Planet's Bank. But anyway, yeah, if you want to have something to do with your little chi Oh, excuse me, why am my hand all in the way? If you want to have something to do with your little children, you can bring them down here to this, uh, um, the carnival. That's what you can do. Now, that's if you're interested. Like I said, I don't know what the weather going to be like the way they talking this weekend. I'm going to look, though, at the weather in Alabama because if I get out of here, I don't really care what the weather like here as long as it's not raining when I leave. And the weather decent because I like to drive at clear weather. I don't want to be driving and it's raining and carrying on. I don't be want to do all that, man. I ain't in that much of a hurry to go nowhere. And besides, I got several days off. And like I said, I'm going to do a day trip. I was talking to Amber. I don't know if it was this morning or yesterday. And we were talking about Nashville. We had, she was a girl that we watch on TikTok. And she's in Vegas now. She's a Memphis girl. And um, I was telling her, I said, yeah, she came, just came back from Nashville. And I said, you know, I haven't been in Nashville in years. And Amber reminded me when the last time I went to Nashville. I mean, I was there. We were on the college visit. She was her senior year. And we went to tour Vanderbilt. And uh, she said, Mama, that was the last time, you know, that we've been in Nashville. But you know what? They could let me win the Powerball tonight. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no question about when I'm going. I will be going first thing. I might even get up tonight if my numbers come in ahead on Nashville to the lottery office. Yes, 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 I will. I know y'all sick of me. Let me get off here for real. I'm gonna come up here to this wonder. Man, y'all probably say I'm so tired of you on your darn mouth. I'll be back with y'all. I done made it home, right? I had a little bit in the car because even though I don't eat fries that often, and I like them, so I ended up eating two of my, I don't know why I didn't get all Korean barbecue, but they just the little party wings, you know, the little party wings, so those are the barbecue, but I ate two of the honey barbecue, and I ate some of the fries and a half piece of the toast while I was over there, because I'm actually full, but, so that's how I look, if y'all ever go to slim chicken but i'm full i might eat a couple more wings later on i'm gonna take this trash can out to the trash can y'all i'm so silly and y'all like me they'll be starting to scratch your tickets and then you be like while well, i was sitting there eating it right i'm like i don't even know how to play the game if you read the instructions i just went to scratch i won a three dollar bet on my ski ball i ain't win nothing on the two dollar ticket so I just break it reach on my scratch offs. But anyway, I'm gonna put this watermelon up in the refrigerator so I ain't gonna do nothing with it tonight. I'll put it up in the morning when I get up. 
Since I ain't got to cook nothing, well, I still had some pepper soup anyway. I don't know why. Like, I'm going to cook. I wasn't going to cook. And, uh, I'm getting ready to take this trash down here on the street. And make it do what it do and call it a night. <clears throat> but I hope y'all have a good night. And enjoy your evening. Enjoy your day. I hope if y'all on some vacation days like me, you do something fun and fantabulous. It's about time for me to go. I got a spray because I saw a spider web in that garage. So I need to go to Lowe's and get some of that home defense ortho stuff to spray in here. So I am going to do that this weekend. And one of the days that I'm off, I'm going to get at least a house spray and spray around the window sills on the outside too. But y'all, yeah, y'all know I love you. You know I love you, and God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Oh, I'm like, what is that? That's my telephone. <laughs> Y'all already know. It's hump day. Happy hump day. It's hump day. Happy hump day. Did you hump today? Did you hump today? Are you humping today? Are you humping today? Either way, you have yourself a great, blessed, and wonderful day, a wonderful night, and y'all know I'll see y'all later on this week. Love you, and thanks for stopping by. Bye.